Hi everyone, this is Rakesh. Welcome to VR Computer Education. Today class, we'll discuss data types, that is user defined data types. So let us start the topic, user defined data types. So what is user defined data types? A user defined data type, in short you can call UDT, is a data type that provide, sorry, that derive from an existing data type. A user defined data type is a data type that derived from an existing data type. So from the existing data type, we will derive some data types. So those data types, how we'll divide, you can see. You can user defined data types to extend the built-in data types which are already available and to create own and customized data types. See so here, you can use user defined data types to extend the built-in data types. So you can extend the built-in data types uh, which are already available. So built-in data types already available like integer type, floating type, char, void. And to create your own customized data types. So we can create our own customized data types. So what is user defined data type? So user defined data type uh, is a data type that that is derived from an existing data types you can use user defined data types to extend the built in data types which are already available and to create your own customized data types so we can create our own customized data types so let us see what are the user defined data types provided by C language. Now we will see. So there are two types mainly enumeration and type def. Enumeration type def. These are the two data types considered as user defined data types using this we can create our own data types let's see first enumeration data type so an enumeration data type is a special data type enumeration data type is a special data type consisting of a set of named values called elements or members. So enumeration data type is a special data type contains a set of named values contains some set of named values. So those are called elements or members. It is mainly used to assign names to integral constants which makes a program more readable. See, it is mainly used to assign names to integral constants, which make a program more readable. So, enum keyword is used to create an enumerated data type. So, what we will use? We will use enum keyword to create enumeration data type let us see the syntax see enum is the keyword identify any name identifier is created by the user user defined any name you can write for the enum enum is a keyword identifier open bracket so here value 1 value 2 and so on value n and closing let's see the example 
so like this enum so I have created some week like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday all these are enumerated data types here week is a identifier now you can see enumerated types allows us to create our own symbolic names for a list of related constants so here it is there it is mainly used to assign names to integral constants see these are considered as integral constants for them a name is given that is week so like this we will define the enumeration so enumeration is also we have topic in the c here just introduction i have given when we discuss enumeration topic there we will see more examples and we'll execute the enumeration program also here just what is enumeration data type just introduction next type def data type see type def is used to create a new name we'll say alias names alias names just like how we have uh, like nicknames example rakesh nickname rocky like that alias names we can create so type def is to create a new name for an existing data type so for an existing data type we can give the new names using this type def it does not create a new data type remember it does not create a new data type simply it defines a name for an existing type remember type def keyword is used to give an existing name to give a new name for the existing data type some other name instead of calling int you can call with some other name whatever name will you like that see once again type def is used to create a new name for an existing data type it does not create a new data type simply it defines a name for an existing type keyword type def is used to create a new name so type def we will use to create a new name let us see the example first syntax see like this type def existing type means existing data type like int char float double long so for that new name let us see now example of type def type def can see type def int vr so here so what is type def it will create a new name for an existing data type so here here existing data type is int and the new name is vr now vr will act as a int data type that is the meaning of type def and that is the purpose of using type def now we can declare like this vr a here vr is an integer data type a is the variable now i have assigned value to the variable a that equals to 10 now you can print as usual how we print using c see here the keyword type def will create vr as the new name for the int data type so from now onwards vr will be the new name for int data type so in this example you can see the variable declared as vr type so this will be integer type will also behave like int variable so this is about type def of data types all the data types till now what we have discussed basically data types are three types primitive you derive 
यूज आर डिफाइंड फर्स्ट प्रिमिटिव प्रिमिटिव फर्स्ट इंटीजर टाइप फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट टाइप नेक्स्ट कैरेक्टर टाइप सो प्रिमिटिव इंटीजर टाइप फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट टाइप एंड कैरेक्टर टाइप नेक्स्ट फर्स्ट इंटीजर टाइप इट इज डिवाइड अगेन थ्री टाइप्स शॉर्ट इंट लॉन्ग शॉर्ट इंट लॉन्ग सो बेस्ड ऑन द साइन बेस्ड ऑन पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव साइन अगेन इट इज डिवाइड इन टू टू टाइप्स दैट इज साइंड इंटीजर अनसाइंड इंटीजर सो लेट एस सी साइंड इंटीजर सो यू कैन राइट साइंड शॉर्ट साइंड लॉन्ग साइंड इंट सॉरी साइंड शॉर्ट साइंड इंट साइंड लॉन्ग द सेम वे यू कैन राइट अनसाइंड शॉर्ट unsigned int unsigned long so these are all integer types these are all integer types next floating point type three types float double long double next character type Three types: char, signed char, unsigned char. So these are all considered as primitive data types. Next, derived data types: array, function, pointers, structures, union, arrays. pointers structures unions next today we have what we have discussed user defined data types there are two types we know enumeration and type def enumeration and type def so these are all the data types of c language or C programming. So this is about the data types. I hope you understood. Thank you.